Good morning to another day, and it's so much beautifuler outside. What are you laughing at? Are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm out of my own business. Beautiful. <laughs> are you laughing at my words? Oh, my dog here. Give me a lip. Taco, what are you doing this morning? It's that time again where we need more coffee. So, I've made it my mission to try to run everything I possibly can off 12 volt that will, i.e. routers, uh, this whole surveillance system mess I have going on right now and trying to experiment with but running it from 5 volt to 12 volt right now and it's not doing a terrible job but I'm going to get rid of this step up and put these 2.1 millimeters on just straight 12 volts and it says what the cameras call for same with the router and a few other things that we have around here oh and currently we're doing a 9 volt conversion right here it is whatever that is so you can even see it well it's totally right there but it's a 9 volt 12 volt from 5 volt uh, USB so June can play their guitar amp with it and it is this little amp right there uh, it's 9 volt and it only takes 500 watts which is perfect so these can pump out about 800 watts so no not 800 watts Polarity reversed on the plug here. Uh, what I did was just take off the black and the red and swap them to the uh, 2.1 barrel because this little amp requires these to be in reverse polarity. So let's test it out and see if it works. I have it switched over to 9 volt. Alright, I'll plug it in. These little crush amps don't turn on until you plug in the guitar cable. Oh, and it's got life. Woo, just that easy. Now it'll run off of a USB port and or battery pack off of a, one of those beefy little USB battery packs. Next is it's trying to get a dongle pretty much that holds several of these so I can power. And voila, it's back to normal. I'm going to mark it for reverse polarity just in case if I ever reuse it and burn anything out. So, this is my warning to yourself. To myself. <laughs> Making a 12 volt dongle. I just ended up cutting these two wires together. I'm really hoping this is going to be thick enough. Oh, 
Alright, so we got fused wire as well. I believe it is only like possibly a 5 amp fuse. So anything drastic. Um, we're going to solder and on in right there. And then we're going to put some shrink wrap on it. And then we're going to solder us another lead for the ground as soon as I find one for it. So with being able to find 12 volt in my compartment here, in that back layer, I was able to double check and make sure it is 12 volt on the safe side, and I got rid of a bunch of junk that was in here. Now you saw it before, it was just a giant mess in here. Normally it looks like this. So, got rid of a power strip, got rid of a bunch of wasted connections, and there's the two wires right here. I tried to find white ones just so they would match and I could have it all color coordinated. And it's just running 14 volt to all the... <laughs> so it's a, another dongle to another dongle to multiple dongles. This is just ridiculous. But, yeah. Perfect. And I have this for my cable goes all the way to the back of the RV for HDMI it needs a booster and I've got it running off USB running to the back of the DVR so it powers its own booster to the TV so we can see it from the bedroom but yep looks a lot better now just to get this running off of a 12 volt for some reason someone was telling me it might need a uh, constant and varied power source it can't handle fluctuations so we'll see about that but that was today's lesson on electricity hooray see y'all next time <laughs>